Good Tuesday! Show and tell! I've only done one other show and tell. It was a Saturday show and tell. I was drinking. I took the video down. I thought it was too long. I'm going to re-upload it. So my apologies to the 49 people who watched it. So this will be our second show and tell. Goodwill show and tell. Let's not waste any time. Ooh. We'll get to that in a minute. There were these hand-painted Italian plates. Salad bread plates and the dinner plates. There were two of each. Aren't they pretty? Italica R's. They're kind of collectible. Not that collectible, but they're collectible. I didn't know. I didn't buy them to collect them. The thing that I'm doing right now, over the last couple of years, I have had a solid set of Sakura farm stand plates. Where are they? I've had a solid set of dinner plates, soup bowls, and salad plates of Sakura farm stand. And I've had some white dinner plates. Crate and barrel for highfalutin dinners. And then I thought it would be more fun to have two of a couple of different plates. When I did my Breaking Bad video, they used a plate like this in the show when Jesse was making breakfast for Jane. I only have one of these. I have to get a second one. Two farm stand, two crate and barrel, and a couple weeks ago I picked up these beautiful blue plates. They're irregular shapes. And I got two dinner plates and two salad plates. So when I saw these I thought, cool, it'll add to my set of twos. And they look new. They are scratch free. And I thought if I'm making like an Italian pasta dish, these will be perfect. Look at the olives. Aren't they nice? They are totally irregular. A little uneven. Nice weight. Beautiful plates. All of these plates were a dollar each. All of these plates were a dollar. I'm not kidding. Let's put these aside where I won't break them. We've got two Sakura, two Crate and Barrel, two Blue. You know, pretty cool. I need to get a second. That's a Home Trends plate. Oh. I already took the sticker off this one. Yesterday they had these two Crown Corny Japan plates. They're 12 and a half inches. Aren't they pretty? There's tape residue here. That's tape residue. No scratches. These will go with my giant mulberry plates. Thanksgiving, man. Load on the potatoes and the turkey and the stuffing. This is going to hold... These are going to hold everything. Well, there's water in there. They were a dollar. A dollar! Pretty cool. Moving on. Where am I going to put these? Don't step on them. Yesterday, also, they had these Thompson bowls, and I could have gotten four, but I just wanted two. They were a dollar. Little brown trim. But if I make a little Asian bowl of rice and uh, shrimp or something, these will be fun. They're kind of cute, aren't they? No, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're getting to you in a minute. And then there were these Onita. Olive, olive two. They're called olive to two. Olive two. Little salad plates. I only got two to go with my two two. Oh, one of the problems when I go to Goodwill is I don't have my glasses. I have my far away glasses, but I can't see up close. So I don't know. I still don't know. I purposefully did not really look at this when I got it home, so that we could look at it together, you and me. This was ten dollars nine ninety nine. Now I have purposefully avoided this one. I have a lot of Visions cookware, but I never really liked the shape. I, I'm not sure why. It just seemed, you know, what in the pictures it looked worse. It looked taller and it looked taller and narrower. I'm not drinking. It looked taller and narrower. 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 There you go, narrower. But I held it up to the light at the store 
with my crappy glasses and it seemed to be in very good shape. And for ten dollars, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't say no. I don't see visions at the store very often and usually they're in bad shape. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Lid. This got some weird bumps there. What are those? There's glass. There's some little glass nubbin bumps right there. Otherwise the lid looks scratch free. Let's hold her up to the light. Here we go. Here we go, up to the light. It looks virtually new. Is that a scratch? It's a little dusty. It is very clean. I'm happy with that. Pretty cool. We did very good on this. This is very nice. I think I see a tiny... Is that a... One tiny scratch. I think there's one tiny scratch in there, but otherwise it is spotless. It's, and I hadn't planned on buying it. I, I've seen it for years. I just, I just didn't want it, but it looks better to me in person. I was watching some videos on YouTube of Thai food vendors. Thai street food, where they're cooking in the walks for people walking by. And the walks they use are aluminum. They're thicker than this. This is from the 70s. Let's show you a box first. I believe it's from the 70s. It's from the Leise Corporation. Leise Aluminum Company. I don't know how to pronounce it. L-E-Y-S-E. Lace? Lease? Lace? I've been here before. How do you pronounce it? You tell me. Tell me down below how to pronounce it. It came with a little booklet with care instructions and recipes. They'll be fun. I wanted a bare aluminum wok. It came with a steamer. I wanted one like the street vendors. It's pure aluminum. Now theirs is thicker and of course they've got the actual burners, the wok burners and the high heat. I've just got the electric coil stove. It's a flat bottom wok though. I think this is stainless steel. It doesn't look plated to me. And I'll never use this on my electric stove. But in my next life, I might have a burner when I'm burning in hell. A Lacey product. Number 2635, made in USA. It's very light. I love the care. I mean, it is perfectly smooth. There's no rivets to hit with your spatula. I'm probably gonna have to use a little towel to move this around if I want to. It's very lightweight. I'm very excited about this one. Everyone has different ways to season these things. There's a video of a woman with an aluminum wok and she throws in salt. This is all on a burner on a high heat. I think she's moving raw salt around and then she puts in some oil and she moves that around and the oil's like turning dark gray and, and then she wipes the oil around with a towel the instructions for this, just to say, heat it up, wipe the oil around, let it cool. Heat it up, wipe the oil around, let it cool three times. And then you're supposed to be ready to use it. This is 15 inches wide. This is supposed to be 15 inches. It's 15. It's like 15 and an eighth. I want to try and cook some shrimp pad thai on my electric coil stove. You know, it'll be fun. You go, huh, huh, huh? Woo! 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 I'm never going to be able to do that. It's going to go all over my stove. There's a lot of talk about whether the Alzheimer's aluminum thing is true or not. I don't know. I just figure I'm 64 and if you go into any commercial kitchen, they've got tons of aluminum cookware. You don't know, but that's what you're eating out of Alzheimer's. It's so spread out that you might be able to put the food on the sides like they do. Move it up put some stuff in the center, move it up. I, I just think this is gorgeous. I can't wait.
I'm going to wash this with a steel wool pad because that's what Waffle House does. And then we'll do the oil treatment like they say in the instructions. Oh, oh, there's one more thing. I thought this was vintage, but it isn't. You can still buy these. They come with flower arrangements. Teleflora gift. For some reason, I didn't see that at, at Goodwill. But it still brings back memories of the 70s, right? Silly stuff. Hey, thanks for joining me this Tuesday. You know what I'm going to say. Thanks for watching.